Hey, sister girl on films, you don't wanna miss a thing, better stay tuned in. Uh, so lay back, get into the vibe, in the mood. Real reviews from a sister's point of view. Trailer reactions, movies and TV. So entertaining and authentic, believe me. So roll that footage, I'm ready to chill. Time to hang out with my sister girl. Hey, sister girl on films. Hey, sister girl on films. Hey. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sister Girl on Films. And as you can tell by the title, I will be reviewing, giving my thoughts and opinions on Really Love, which is a new dramatic romance currently streaming on Netflix. So if you're interested in my thoughts on this new age romance, then stay right there. We're going to get right into this review. Really Love is directed by uh, Angel Christy Williams and it is written by Felicia Pride and Angel Christy Williams. And like I said, it is a romance drama currently streaming on Netflix um, and it stars some of these names y'all. I'm sorry if I butcher them. Y'all know how I do. I be trying though. It stars Yuta Wang Lu Sing, uh, Kofi Siribo, Mike Ely, Blair Underwood, Suzanne Douglas, rest in peace, um, Uzo Aduba, and it is an all-star cast, y'all, as y'all can tell by this list. Um, the writers of this film and the director, um, this is, from what I gathered, is their first full-length feature film. Uh, both ladies have worked on either short films in the past, um, and also um, TV series, Grey's Anatomy, and I think Queen of the South. Um, so yeah i had to take that in consideration uh while i was watching this film and really love is about isaiah and stevie isaiah is played by kofi uh stevie is played by yuda um and isaiah is an up-and-coming uh painter slash artist in washington dc um he's kind of struggling to get his work out there but he's very talented um and stevie is currently in law school but she has a lot of great prospects on the table uh, for when she graduates and starts her career as a lawyer so really love is your typical romance um, where you have two people who you wouldn't necessarily think would fall for each other but of course they do immediately and throughout their relationship they face a couple of hardships here and there and obstacles that really question whether or not their love is something that will survive all of these different things that are coming at them or if it's just it's kind of a fling and maybe they should both go their separate ways so i was looking forward to watching this film just because i haven't really seen a romance film that really like just made me just fall in love with the characters and the story um like some in the past um, one of my favorite romance films of all time is their eyes are watching god I freaking love that movie and of course we have the incomparable love Jones which I think is a staple in the black community honey like that is our that is our notebook okay I dare you to <laughs> challenge it that is our notebook don't play about love Jones okay so with this film I could tell that the writers and the director were influenced by love jones and i feel like it's hard not to be because it's such an iconic film um there were moments in the film where uh they really wanted to pay homage to the washington d washington dc uh go go music scene uh there was a scene at a club and there was like a local band that was playing um and i thought that it was nice you know to see some of those parts of washington dc that maybe people don't really um, get to see if you have never visited that area or if you don't really know much about it um, most people would just connect it to you know the White House and the monuments and stuff like that but not the actual cultural parts of Washington DC um, so I really appreciated that they did highlight that part uh, in the movie um, also I would say some of the shots in the film looked really good um, the movie overall had a very like vintage uh, filter over it so it looked very like 90s to me uh, which I didn't have an issue with uh, it wasn't set in the 90s or anything like that but visually for me I kind of got the feel that I was in the 90s or watching a 90s love unfold which also again led me to feel like this film was very much inspired by Love Jones and those black romantic films from like the 90s early 2000s um, 
uh, besides that y'all I'm not I don't want to be hard on this film simply because um, like I said the writers and the director of this film this is like their first attempt at a full length feature and for their full length feature to be a romance to me was a huge undertaking uh, romance films are not easy I, in my opinion I feel like in order for it to be a successful romance film first and foremost you have to have characters that your audience love and that they I can they can identify with that they root for that they root against um, there has to be chemistry between your lead actors um, and not just from like a physical standpoint but you have to in your mind be like I wonder if they dating outside of this because the chemistry is crazy um, and then also the storyline just has to kind of makes sense have a little bit of drama but not drama for drama's sake you know what i mean um and then at the end you really with a good love story you really are invested with your characters in the story that is told and you almost want to wish you lived in that world or wish you were friends with these characters so you can know what happened the next morning the morning after when the movie's over and the credits roll you're like dang dang did nina and darius get back together like like what like what happened like did tea cake really have to go out like that like th these are the type of questions that you ask yourselves when it's a a love story that you really enjoy and for me and with really love i i didn't feel that connection with these characters i didn't really feel the chemistry between kofi and yuda um visually like they're very beautiful people and they look like visually they looked really great together but it was it's not that they didn't have chemistry but their performances for me were so flat that i couldn't really feel the chemistry that they were trying to convey through the screen um this is only my second project that i've seen kofi in and i know he's been in other stuff i know he's in queen of the south um i know he's like a, a regular on that show i don't watch that show though um i know he was in another film i didn't watch um and last time i saw him was in girls trip um, so for me, as far as seeing him and his acting, it wasn't that it was bad, but like I said, I just didn't feel the emotion. I didn't feel, um, that passion that you really look for in a love story. I feel like his character was very aloof and I think he, maybe that was the point. Maybe he was supposed to play it more aloof and that was the vibe he was supposed to give us. Cause that's all I got from it. Um, it was just, it, it lacked depth. His performance did um, and really the same thing for Yuta for me I felt like both of them were very it felt like they were reading lines um, I didn't get a whole lot of emotion um, the scenes that probably should have been more emotional and I really at the climax should have been investing these characters I wasn't I'm sorry y'all I just wasn't I didn't care about the stakes of their relationship I don't feel like their relationship was developed enough for me um, I feel like from their initial meeting it just seemed awkward um and i feel like some some of the acting choices by yuda kind of gave me conflicting messages as an audience member so i'm like is she into this dude is she not into him like he hasn't really done anything sketch to make her like recoil like she does sometime in the film so i wasn't really sure like what we were supposed to be feeling other than these are two beautiful black people and we should be rooting for them i'm sorry for me that ain't enough like i love love stories and i need to be invested um, also there again when I talked about conflicts in love stories it needs to have a purpose and I feel like in this film the conflict was there just for conflict's sake so um, Isaiah's father was not supportive of his career as an artist and he felt like he needed to get him a real job if he wanted to ever start a family um, and they didn't really like they went into it a little bit but not enough like to the point where at the end of the film Isaiah's family was at his big showing and they were there like rooting and cheering him on we didn't get any development there it was just kind of like Isaiah and his father had an intense uh conversation and then we never came back to it but then everything was resolved at the end and I just I didn't understand that I'm like either we're going to really dig deep into that relationship or just don't even bring it up because it had no bearing 
on the overall story in my opinion if we would have taken out that relationship the story still could have moved forward also mike ely was in this and he kind of was playing um isaiah's mentor and i felt like he was really underutilized in this film um i really didn't understand the purpose also of him being in it like other than him trying to push isaiah to continue to pursue his dream of being an artist regardless of what other people say but that could have came from any other character. Like, I didn't understand why we needed his character either. Um, I just feel like we had a lot of characters in this, but they didn't add anything to the overall story. So I just wasn't sure of some of the choices. And I don't know if it was just because the transition from writing for short films versus a feature full length film um, there was that discrepancy on how to really best utilize that runtime. I'm not sure if that was the issue. Um, if it was a little bit of over um, editing and taking out things that maybe they didn't think was important to the overall tone of the film when it actually kind of was. Um, I don't know, y'all. It's just I saw what they were doing, what they were trying to do. And I appreciate the attempt that they made to give us um, a new take on love um and introducing us to to yuda who i've never seen before she's gorgeous um and giving you know kofi his time to really shine as a leading man in a film i i respect it and i enjoy you know that they made that attempt but i feel like this film just it, it lacked the passion and it lacked the development within our main characters that at least that i need to love a love story um, like I said, once this film was over, I didn't care what happened with Isaiah and Stevie. I genuinely did not. Uh, mini spoiler. Um, Stevie, she could have went right on back to Chicago and went on with her life. And Isaiah could have stayed being an artist in Washington, D.C. And I would not have cared. It, 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 I would have went and got some pizza. <laughs> I was not invested. Huh, so I hate to say that, y'all. Because... I know these sisters tried with this film and I know they put their all into it um, and they, I'm sure they're proud of the work that they did but for me really love just it didn't work for me um, so you know if you like you know love stories you know there were people that really enjoyed it you know and it was it was cool enough it was you know it was all right you know so if you have a date night coming up you know with your boo and y'all trying to find something more of the romance black romance kind of feel you know you could check it out it wasn't terrible um it just it, it just didn't work necessarily for me yeah so let me know in the comments below if y'all checked out um really love and what you thought about it and let me know what is your favorite black or even any from any culture honey just what is your favorite love story um on film <laughs> so as always y'all like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see y'all next time for something else thank y'all so much for your support and i'm gonna see y'all next time